in a world where anything is possible. Where what you get is a direct result of what you put in. Where opportunity is equal for all and you choose your destiny. There is something we all search for, something that inspires us. It's the passion that inspires us. It's the speed that drives us. This is that world. This is your world. SSBB Esport. Live your dream. Good evening. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. How are you doing this evening? We've got such a freaking great evening up for you guys tonight. If my voice sounds funny, that's because... I'm, I am actually still a bit sick, so um, sick in the head as well, but <laughs> anyway, we got ourselves a great, great race up tonight. We've got a one hour race, endurance race, and it is round two of the SSBB Esports Championship. Can you believe that? 2022. Um, we are here at Tokyo Expressway. We've never been here. Central Outer Loop. A lot of the guys haven't raced here. It's a bit outside of our comfort zone. So we're going to uh, test things a bit. And it's going to be interesting. So let's check the points right quick. So uh, if I can find them, maybe. There we go. So um, as at the end of last, last week, if you guys can see this. Um, sees HKS leading the championship with 22 points. Alex second with 19. Third is Benji 26. He's not with us tonight. Fourth is Denz on 17. And fifth, bring up your top five, is Davide. Good result from Davide. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, a fun event. And it's going to be something that's different. I'll tell you what it is also going to do. It's going to take a lot to beat Sees HKS. Wow, Seas is flying, and uh, okay, for sure, Seas is in the pits now. But uh, let me just reply here no five minute pit stop. So just confirming the regs for this. So it is time, really time to kick off. So let's just let everybody know. We've got a, a full lobby tonight. It's pretty insane. And uh, we're racing group fours this, um, this season. I mean, you can see there 15 entries. So we've got us a full lobby. Thank you everybody for joining us. Uh, Venture 26 might drop week. I don't blame you, Venture. I've also never raced here. It's, it would be tough. Um, good evening, Melty. Good to see you back. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Everybody's in the in the lobby. We're gonna start qualifying now. So it's gonna be an interesting race. Long race. Sees HKS quickest 17.5. I have no idea what that means, but. Uh, we shall see. Second is Alex. Alex proving to be very quick. I know Alex has been working a lot. 
on his uh, on his pace, on his consistency. So um, we just changed the body. So Alex uh, is determined to be quick on the control, on the pad, remote, whatever you want to call it, this guy's there. And he is uh, proving to be quite successful, so let's see, it's going to be tough, tough, tough long race. Alex is stuck behind someone, let's just drive on board with Alex. Oh, that's Ian Evo. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. So, who's this stuck in the pits? That's McFlurry Twist. Not going out. Maybe waiting a bit for the mayhem to un un undo itself, I guess. Mad Theo also joining us, the Dutchman. Well, C's HKS has been quick. At every single event, and Seas is gonna is gonna bring something special. I am pretty sure. Ooh, that was so delicious going in the wall there. That's gonna be. So let's just. Um, so McFlurry twist going out of the pits now. Possibly try looking for a. Uh, Looking for a clean bit of track. Sees HK is still currently leading the points and leading the charge here. So quick. Alex, second, no damage. Yet Evo went into the wall, no damage. So Alex is on the soft, Sees is on the soft. So I see Alex going for the same strategy that Sees went for. Seas was absolutely brilliant in last week's Enduro. If you haven't seen that, go and watch that. I'll tell you, that was a really, really masterclass. The strategy was also perfect. Pretty much did one lap on the hard tyre. And it was right at the end of the race, the last lap. And uh, managed to eke those tyres out. I don't know how, just made it happen, so... Third, Ian Evo. Uh, we've got seven minutes left. So, fourth is Bombastic. Bombastic with us. So, C's on 18.3. Went quicker. Did a 17. Alex also 18.3. Uh, fifth is uh, Dens. Third is Ian Evo. Dens going quicker. Dens currently third. Uh, six is Sam SWD. Seventh is Ollie. Ollie and I had some good racing on oh, Thursday. Eighth is Bodom Reaper in that McLaren. Now the McLaren should be very good around here. McLaren has a very high top speed. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's a bit of a Ferrari challenge at the moment, but. Uh, At least there's some variety. Eighth Ollie now. Ninth Davide. Tenth Mad Theo. So eleventh now McFlurry. I don't think McFlurry's done a lap yet. He's done a lap. Fifty-five eight, but that's probably his out lap. J Turbo Deluxe. This is Jack. E. He's changed his uh, his uh, PSN to J Turbo Deluxe. Whoa! You see how J was flying, drifting around there. J really quick last year. Won the endurance championship last year. Safalicious, thirteenth in the dirt nose car. Picks up damage. 14th golf nut. And this is one of those races you need to just stay out of trouble. If you stay out of trouble, you're going to do well. Um, so 14th Death Raccoon now. And 15th Safalicious. So C's HK is about points 
eight quicker than Alex. Alex has really closed the gap on C's. C's getting purple sectors. Unbelievable. Just watching this lap. Let's see what it's like on board. Mountains of confidence. You can see he's using absolutely every little millimeter of the track, especially on the entry. Very quick. I've never raced here. It's one of those circuits you need to get used to. But uh, so basically, what I have is I have a I've written a piece of software that pretty much. So we're riding on board with Alex now that uh, pretty much chooses any one of the 15 circuits I've set up at random. So as soon as I open the software, it chooses the circuit. It's absolutely random. And if we've raced there already, then it does not take that into account. So we only do one circuit once, and there will be circuits left over. So pretty much, where do we have? Two minutes, 49 left. So uh, I've included this to um, change it up because we have raced a lot of the same circuits a lot of the time. So so Death Raccoon second out, but on um, C's HKS went quicker, 17.353. It's absolutely flying. Eh? And this is one of those circuits because it's so fast, a small mistake costs you dear. It costs you so much. So if you are millimetrically perfect here, you will get away with murder. But the question is, who's going to push themselves over that line? And that's why. So Malti is asking, so is the Enduro calendar public? This season feels like since everyone picked the same card. No, um, the calendar isn't public Malti. Uh, it's the same. It's uh, in, in a randomizer. Yeah, pretty much as I explained. Nobody really knows what it is until the evening. I don't even know. And um, leaves the element of surprise. So people don't go and practice too much. Because not everybody has the time. That's really the uh, goal behind it. So the trick on it is going to be who can stay out of trouble here. So it's one thing doing good times and being like, be able. Golfie has left the room. Oh, no. Being able to go exit the room and go back in. Uh, exit the track, go to the pits, change tires, fix your damage. But in the race, that is going to cost you mega. So Death Raccoon currently second. The gap between Death Raccoon and Alex was 0 5 1. Death Raccoon also on the soft tire. So the top three on the soft tire. Alex on the soft tire. Then Evo 1.8 seconds behind. He's on the medium tire. So it's the same rules. Uh, you have to use. Oh, McFlurry going in the wall there. 19 4 from Ian. That's a good time. 
So it's the final lap. So Ian is currently fourth. Ian's the quickest of the medium tire drivers by 0.7 over Dens. Looks like a lot of these drivers are finished, so let me get the spreadsheet mm. open. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, C's has gone even quicker. 17066. Wow. That is quite something. So, that looks like that's finished. Is C still on a hot lap? Oh no, C is done. So there's, there's someone that is still circling around doing their lap. Safalicious is done. McFlurry is done. Bodom Reaper is done. The lone McLaren, the one car that's different. Ollie is uh, still driving. Jay is done. Bustic is done. Sam is done. Okay, qualifiers ended. Alrighty, well let's settle in. We've got ourselves an hour long round here. I bet you the drivers are going to be hating life after this. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope that the uh, randomizer is more kind next week. So, bit of a traffic jam here. bit like Monaco so do we see any lights we don't see any lights so just keep your eyes on C's HKS seems to get off the line really nicely and second is death track in third is Alex Beaumont very clean very fast through there let's look back at Alex and you can just see exactly where, sorry, looking back at Death Raccoon, you can see where uh, C's just be, is able to pull, pull out the gap. It's in the corner speed, lining the car up, basically, you can see how much entry he uses. There he touches the wall, touches the wall again, is that going to hurt him? No. So... Interesting, knows exactly how much of the wall to use on entry. Death Raccoon's looking really good. Oh, Death Raccoon went in hot there, but uh, looking very good. Death Raccoon's a bit all over the place. Like you can see the car moving around a lot, but if Death Raccoon can stay close enough to be within the slip, it's already a second, then um, Death Raccoon has half a chance to be able to just sit with sees lap two already so we're right on board with death raccoon beautiful futu mods logo there looking back at alex 1.5 seconds the gap on alex it's a bit of a ferrari challenge you can see here oh alex using a lot of <laughs> entry Alex getting a purple sector very quick through there. Davide behind Alex, so Davide looking really racy as well. Alex getting purple sectors. But 2.5 seconds behind Death Raccoon, so Alex possibly feel saving here. Sees HK is looking better on fuel. Gap about a second between these two. So it's Alex in third place. Fourth place is Davide. Can't really see the cars. There you see the cars. It's a beautiful livery that Davide is carrying. Very nice. Ian Evo out in fifth place. In Ian doing well. So Davide on the soft. So basically the top four on the soft tire um, 
Ian Eva, the first of the medium tyre drivers. And then 57 minutes remaining. It's going to get spicy when we have to start pitting. Bombastic, yeah, it's in sixth place on the medium tyre. It's Ian Eva and Bombastic on the mediums. Dens on the medium here is out in seventh place. Uh, eighth is uh, Sam SWD, fellow South African, but he is carrying damage. That's not good. Sam is carrying, carrying damage already. So Sam will have to pitch, you can see. That understeer just kills you. But on Reaper, on the soft tie and that McLaren, that McLaren just doesn't have what it takes, unfortunately. J Turbo Deluxe on the medium tire. The German doing a right, just hanging in there. I think just wants to finish this event. Uh, 11th, McFlurry Twist, also on the, the first of the hard tire drivers. McFlurry choosing an interesting strategy here. He's got Ollie behind him. Ollie on the medium tire. So, uh, McFlurry is getting haunted by Ollie. Ollie going into the pits already. What happened with Ollie? Ollie with damage. Someone else with damage. Sephalicious. Trying to go into the pits there. Yo. <laughs> that was Mad Tia that, uh, Mad T that passed him. So Sephalicious and Ollie both in the pits with damage. Sees HKS. No damage. Pulling away. 4.8 second gap. Over Death Raccoon. Wow. So that's interesting. The fuel consumption is very high. Now I thought that um, people would be fuel saving, but apparently not. C seems to be doing very well on fuel. And that's what was so interesting last week. C's was able to stretch the tires so far and the fuel. The fuel was much, much of a muchness, but the tyres, very, very interesting. So we're currently driving, Sephalicious is left in, currently driving with Alex on board. Slowly hunting Death Raccoon down, got a long race ahead of him. 54 minutes remaining. So C's still with a very commanding lead. He's used a quarter tank already in five laps. And it's flat out. This is a very fast track. So the drivers are going to have to manage their fuel consumption. It's really about corner speed. Maximizing everything you can here. Death Raccoon, second. The 6.9 six seconds behind C's. Third, Alex. Alex and Death Raccoon, very similar fuel. Fourth, Davide. A bit more fuel. Davido is about 2.2 seconds behind Alex. Uh, no, Alex. Uh, fifth is still Ian Evo. Sixth is Denz. Not really in the dice. Pretty much on his own. Six seconds ahead of Sam SWD. He's carrying that. Still carrying that damage. So Sam going along with the damage. Trying to find a way to make it there. He's got J Turbo Deluxe behind him. Okay, so we're now on board with. Uh, not sure what happened there. We lost comms. So we're now on board with C's. HKS again. Let's just go back to the back. Bombastic 12th. Oh, 
Sam lost connection. It's unfortunate. So, the Mustang's still on the soft tire. He's just stopped. Ollie on the soft tire as well. Hasn't stopped. Nadir on the soft tire. In 10th place. Ninth is McFlurry Twist on the hard tire. So doing his stint on the hard. It's going to be interesting to see where McFlurry can feature on this uh, in this race. McFlurry, very good strategist. Boat on Reaper, no damage on the soft tire in the McLaren. J Turbo Deluxe on the medium tire. Out in 7th place, 6th place, Dens on the medium tyre. 5th is Ian Evo, doing very well on the medium tyre. So he's the quickest of the medium drivers. Davide out in 4th place on the soft tyre. So these guys are really pretty much creeping up on half a tank of fuel now. Alex in 3rd on the soft tyre. Davide also on the soft tyre. Uh, Death Raccoon on the soft tyre, C's on the soft tyre. C's with 11 second gap. Unreal. So the dice here between Death Raccoon and Alex seems as though they feel saving, but C's, I think what C's has done is opened up a gap and then just laid off the fuel as much as he can. Good racing. So, nice little dice developing here between Alex and Davide. Alex on the soft tyre, so is Davide. But it uh, looks like they are getting very, very close to each other. Davide. Davide with a bit more fuel. Sorry. So Davide is uh, playing the long game, doing well to hang on here. So Alex still in third place, just behind Alex is Davide. Interesting how this is turning out. Davide just hitting the wall there, slowing him down, he's lost a lot of momentum. So, trying to change the view. So, 47 minutes remaining, looks like someone's come out the pits there. see as Davide gets on the power the uh, oh who's this that's Ollie that's very very kind of Ollie well done sir good man staying out the way there
Davide is showing very good pace here. Bit too much entry there. So. Way too much entry. <laughs> so you can see in that one corner, David, I just uh, got on the power and the thing straight away just started understeering. Now, I don't know if there was a stab full of power or was it just a little bit of uh, accelerator. Like those tires starting to really show their way now. Death track in 18 seconds behind seas. Seas is just in another league. Unreal. And look at the fuel and the tire wear. It's going to take a hell of an effort to stop this man this season. So second death raccoon. Got McFlurry behind death raccoon. So I wonder where McFlurry is has McFlurry pitted. Or is McFlurry just sitting there picking up the slip? McFlurry's on the hard tire, death raccoon's still on the soft. So Alex getting past McFlurry. So McFlurry really uh, playing the long game. McFlurry on the hard tire still. Fourth is Davide. Fifth is Ian Eva. Have they? Lapped some people already because I see they're coming up behind Mr. Bombastic driving on board with Ian Eva now. Place dens. Twelve seconds ahead of Turbo Deluxe. J Turbo Deluxe. Also on the medium tire. Uh, Matthew on the soft tire. Out in eighth place. Bodom Reaper on the hard tire. And the McLaren. So McFlurry twist going very long. You can see. The strategy, McFlurry's got a lot of fuel in that car, so McFlurry's going to go as long as he can. Possibly try and eke out a two-stopper here. He could do it, he's got another 12 minutes to go. Until it's uh, pretty much half time, but there's two stops that he has to do, so... He's definitely... Uh, Serving enough fuel, possibly too much. So, not sure what the strategy is. Possibly go as long as possible um, on the medium and the soft tire. Oh, goes in the wall though, and Bombastic passes McFlurry. So, this is the battle for 10th, and uh, McFlurry. 
has a lot of fuel. Bombastic has the same fuel. In fact, Bombastic has more fuel. Oh, sorry. I don't know if Bombastic has stopped. I don't think so. So, McFlurry losing out there uh, due to a mistake. That's interesting. Matthew in the pits ninth. And Evo goes in the pits. So let's see. Ian Evo in the pits now. Ian's finished his fuel on the medium tyre. So Ian went very aggressive on fuel consumption. And we're going to see now brilliant shots. It's very much a Monaco vibe. It's in the streets of Japan and in the city. Filling the tank up. The best race cars race gas you can get so then Eva out the pits he's done his stop but I'm repo currently eight Bombastic 9th. So Bombastic still has a phenomenal amount of fuel. But has a very fresh tyre. So I think Bombastic has stopped. And has already gone on to the soft tyre. So Bombastic's done a stop. McFlurry uh, has damage. So that's really going to mess up McFlurry's strategy. That's so unlucky. So McFlurry has to get that damage sorted. So that has really screwed up McFlurry's strategy. Currently lost, it's um, unfortunate. Sees HKS eking out pretty much everything he can out of that uh, soft tire. 39 minutes remaining. So, what Sees did last time looks like it's going to be the same strategy. So, Venture say, I think McFlurry and Bob did a short, a short hard stint at the start. That's why they. Right down the order and have a lot of fuel. Yeah, it could be. Could be. McFlurry and Bomb started on the hard tyre as well. So, um, it's interesting. So, C's, what he, what C's did last week was a very long stint on the soft and a very long stint on the, on the medium, maximising the time somehow. And one lap on the hard. Now that's the perfect scenario. If you can get consistent pace out of the tire without wearing it out significantly and using all your fuel so interesting strategy 58 seconds ahead of um, J Turbo Deluxe so Death Raccoon three seconds behind has definitely stopped full, ta full tank of fuel maximized uh, new tires Alex, same story. Death Raccoon and Alex did the switcheroo, so Death Raccoon showing very good pace here. Death Raccoon was very quick in the uh, practice and um, was qualified second in the qualifying. Death Raccoon second and Alex was third. So it was uh, Death Raccoon in for a real shot here. J Turbo Max is gonna have to stop. I see he's still got plenty fuel. Most likely on the next lap, season stop. So J Turbo Deluxe. This is Jack E. We'll stop. You can see the gap between Jack and uh, Death Raccoon. Goes in the pit. So Death Raccoon carries on. Death Raccoon back into second now. Minute down. 
So, your race leader sees HKS. Let's see. Let's see where C's comes out. So look at the tire. Pretty much managed the fuel load very well. So 36 minutes in. So C's could finish on the medium tire and it looks like C's is going to do exactly the same thing. Run the medium all the way till the end and then do one lap on the hard. So your race leader coming round. I don't know what corner it is because I don't know this track at all. So um, let's have a look at our viewers. Alrighty, hello everybody in the comments. Hello everybody, all of our viewers watching. It's great to have you on board. Thank you for joining us. We are pretty much 25 minutes into this race. And uh, your leader has just gone into the pits with four liters of fuel remaining. A minute down the road is uh, Death Raccoon, the second place driver. So I think Caesar's pulled out enough of a gap to be able to do the pit stop, fill up with fuel, and still have 10 seconds. So like I was saying, very much a Monaco kind of vibe, very city vibe here. It's very cool. Cape Town looks a bit like this in some areas. Not a lot of areas though. Just one or two places in the city. Not like this though. So C's still with a massive gap. It's not a minute. It'll balance itself out now. C's with the quickest time, 16.8. Onto the medium tire as expected. So what is the gap? It's still showing a minute. That is significant. Wow. Okay, it's 36 seconds. There we go. So that is the gap. 36 seconds. Death Raccoon with a 3.8 second lead over Alex. So Death Raccoon showing Fantastic pace once again. Very quick driver. Half a second down in that uh, split. But Death Raccoon has damage. Pedaling this thing with that kind of damage. Third, Alex. Alex on the medium. So Alex is going to look to go very, very long here. No choice, really. Very interesting strategies. It's changed a lot. Uh, fourth, Davide. Davide and Death Raccoon pretty much with the same livery. Teammates once again. There's Death Raccoon. Nursing that damage. Five second gap. So Davide is going to have to uh, play it very carefully because now Davide's real race is against Alex. He's got used a quarter of a tank. Alex has used the same fuel. Alex without damage. Fourth is Davide. Behind Davide, Dens. Dens is right behind Oli. Good driving from Ollie, thank you sir. Very well done there. So fifth, uh, what did I say, Dens. 
good drive from Denz this evening, good drive from Davide. Six is uh, Ian Evo on the hard tyre. Seventh, J Turbo Deluxe on the hard tyre. A minute down. Eighth is uh, Mr. Bombastic on the soft tyre. Matt Thiel is ninth place on the medium tyre. Eight, eleventh is Ollie. I oh, say tenth is Ollie on the soft tyre. Eleventh is Bodom Reaper on the medium tyre. Comes up right next to Ian Evo. 12th McFlurry twist on the soft tire. Your leader, 38 second lead now. Going very long on that medium. So 30 minutes remaining. Such a comfortable lead. So you can see Death Raccoon nursing that uh, nursing that injury. He's got a long way to go with that damage. And the gap closing now. Gap was about five seconds. So the fuel is much of a muchness between the two. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Sorry, had to take a comfort break then. So, I see Ventures saying Den's doing bits on a hard tire. Den's is on the soft tire. Not sure what you mean there, Venture. So, Den's flying on that soft tire, closing the gap on uh, Alex. And let's see the difference in fuel. Benz has a bit less fuel, it has to be wary.
What was that? Okay, that was mad tears. So, Dan's doing very well. 0.8 behind. Okay, that's my flurry as well. So, let's ride on board with Alex. Alex on the medium, looking to go long. Dan's on the soft. So, Dan's making good ground here. Has to be cautious though. I think Alex is on the same strategy as. Oh, Alex picked up. Alex has gone into the pits. Is Alex going to go on the hard time? Finish the race in the hard time. So, your race leader is still on the medium. Plenty of fuel. Absolutely commanding this race. Death Raccoon nursing the damage. Nursing his damage. He has. Uh, he's on the medium. We've got half a tank of fuel. At this rate, he could finish the race. But we need to be very cautious. So, that's very interesting. Den's now in third place. Alex not really able to make ground on Death Raccoon on the medium tire, so it chose to go to the soft. Den's on the soft, not as much fuel as Death Raccoon, who's nursing an injury. The gap, watch the gap between Den's and Death Raccoon, it's 3.6 seconds, closing all the time. 3.5. So De Death Raccoon's nursing an injury, but Den's is on the soft tire very quick Dan's using a lot of fuel and tire though so if you look at the difference in the fuel Dan's is on a quarter tank Death Raccoon's just under half you got three seconds though Got Boombastic chasing him down, but Boombastic is only in eighth place. So 24 minutes remaining. That's a big, big uh, mistake. Luckily, no damage. Boombastic will want to capitalize because slipstream helps with fuel consumption. A lot of pace through there, Boombastic right. Right close up to uh, Dens now. Dens the gap back up to three minute, three seconds. Dens using a lot of fuel here. I think it's going to be too much to be honest. Death Raccoon doing very well. Alex has dropped down to 6th place. So Alex on to the hard tire. Oh, Alex picking up damage there. That is going to hurt his efforts. That is really tough. You can see in that uh, Alex just understeered. Let's see if we can go back. Oh, that was just after it, sorry. So Alex has no damage there, goes in just a bit too hot to picks up that damage, very unlucky, so that means Alex was going to go to the end now, he has to, if he puts again, it's, that's pretty much it, so very unlucky, tough race for Alex, Death Raccoon's still in second, nursing that damage but doing a phenomenal job. The gap to Dens is 3.4 seconds. Dens is busy in a massive exchange with Boombastic, who's only out in 8th place. So Dens will be wary of this. Boombastic hits the wall. Boombastic must be careful. Let's see, did Boombastic pick up any damage from that? No. So Dens still in this exchange with Boombastic. Dens, the wise thing to do is just put your head down. And do what you need to do. If that means Bombastic gets past, that's fine. 
the problem is Dens has used so much fuel now. It's uh, almost pointless. Death Raccoon playing the long game. So it's going to be interesting to see where Death Raccoon comes out after his pit stop. Um, venture, let's see. Wall drilling. <laughs> this sees wall drilling. What does that mean? Okay, so I thought he was on the hards. Don't know, Multi wouldn't like to spectate, to speculate, but very close and risky with full damage for it. So what is wall drilling? I presume that's where you just ride up against the wall. The wall riding, sorry. The screen is quite far away, wall riding. Okay. Could be, could be. Let's uh, let's jump on board. So from what I've seen, uh, C's isn't ball riding. It just uses. A lot of circuit on entry maybe touches the wall there but nothing major but I mean the, the gap is 54 seconds So the tire wear is quite large there. That was something that dropped. <laughs> Don't worry about that. So Death Raccoon still second under huge pressure from Bombastic now. So it do, makes no sense for Death Raccoon to get into an exchange with Bombastic. Consistency 20.1, 20.1, 20.4, 19.5, 20.2, 20.6, 20.7, 20.8, 20.9, 20.10, 20.11, 20.12, 20.13, 20.14, 20.15, 20.16, 20.17, 20.18, 20.19, 20.20, 
nothing that's blatantly obvious. And having said that, Seas was also very, very quick in the uh, in the last event. So. It is a thing we're going to have to look into it. Thanks, Multi. Appreciate it. So, so sees a minute and a half down the road. So, Death Raccoon in second place on the hard tyre. I don't think anybody's got an answer for C's at the moment. C's could pick up damage. Yeah, I see you, Multi. I, I hear what you're saying. Um. Possibly have to look into it. I don't th no, there's nothing in our regs that say you can't do it. But if there is a significant advantage by doing something, then yeah, it is obviously not allowed. Same as uh, you know, cutting the track, picking up a penalty. The penalty is two seconds, but you gain three, kind of thing. So it would be viewed in the same light. So, third is Denz. Denz is about five seconds ball behind Death Raccoon. Denz has done a good job. Death Raccoon in second. It's just a bit more fuel than Denz. Davide in a solid fourth. Nursing damage. On the hard tyre. So, also picked up damage after his pit. Ian Evo in fourth. Fifth on the soft tire now. Alex in sixth on the soft tire, but got damage. Oh, Alex is not having a good race. Battling a lot. J Turbo Deluxe seventh on the soft tire with damage. Eighth is Bombastic on the soft tire, no damage. Ninth is Mad Theo with a soft tire. Uh, tenth is Bodom Reaper on the medium tire, the fuel tank, a full tank. Eleventh is Ollie on the medium tire. Twelfth is McFlurry, just come out on the soft tire. Thirteen minutes remain. Sees HKS still with a very commanding lead. Um, I can't even see what the lead is. interesting though so McFlurry uh, venture is saying it's interesting though if you can slow your car use minimum brake and drop a gear to get rotation by clipping the outside wall I'm sure if that's what he is doing maybe it's happened uh, a few times by coincidence yeah. I don't know but uh, don't really want to speculate. Not sure if it's a thing. We'll have to look into it. The overall pace is very quick. Um, on the medium tire, it's 17s, between 17s and 18s. Uh, 
about the 17s and 18s, Death Raccoon on 20s, but Death Raccoon now on the whole time, and Death Raccoon is damaged, Dens also has damage, it's the battle of the damages, damage limitation, it's a terrible pun, so Seize is going to come into the pits, and let's see where that puts Seize, on the hard tire, He's really in another league in this race. The gap is so big, GT Sport doesn't even pick it up anymore. <laughs> 11 minutes remaining. Death Raccoon nursing the car home. The gap 7 seconds between Death Raccoon and Dens. And it doesn't look like it's changing much. So Death Raccoon very very comfortable, although Death Raccoon is nursing damage. Den's also nursing damage. Both these drivers on the hard tyre. Just behind Dens is Ian Eva on the soft tyre, also with damage. This is a this is a race to watch because oh that was a big shunt. Because Ian is on the soft tyre. Ian is slowly chasing down Dens. It's three seconds the gap. Both with damage. Nine minutes remaining. Seizes in the pits. Tires go on. Fuel goes in. Half a tank of fuel. So, Death Raccoon. Let's keep our eyes on this uh, this development. Dens has Ian Evo 2.8 seconds behind him, and Ian Evo has Alex 1.5 seconds behind him. So both these drivers went onto the soft tire to try, possibly snatch that third place position. So it's going to be a big fight at the end for that last spot on the podium. Death Raccoon I think is fine with a 7 second gap but uh, Denz is going to come under fire real soon. Seize not sure where Seize comes out, one and a half seconds looks like. So um, we're going to have to see Ian Evo 1.8 seconds behind Dens is Ian catching Dens. It's pretty wild damage Ian has, but so does Dens. Alex 2.5 seconds behind Ian, so Alex has made another big mistake. Double damage on the front on the front axle. Maybe just wanted to equalize it. So it doesn't pull to one side too much, but that's gonna kill his top end. And his fuel consumption. So Dens coming under fire real soon from Ian Evo. So this is the race to watch everybody. Oh, Denz is having a hard time on that hard tire. Excuse the pun, and uh, Ian Evo on the soft tyre. So, interesting. Now, De Ian Evo has the slip as well. What is going to happen here? Oh, Ian uses the wall there on the, in the braking zone. Um, possibly got caught out by the slip, but the speed on the slip. Um, let's look at the damage. Still the same damage. Dens in third. With a hard tyre, so... Big dice on here. Looks like it's a pretty tough place to pass at. Probably gonna have to do it somewhere into one of the braking zones, which are really fast on the approach. They're side by side. 
Let's look. Dens coming under huge pressure. Ian trying the crisscross. He's going to try to go around the outside. Does. Ian Evo goes around the outside. So the soft tyre working out and uh, Dens really can do nothing. He's pretty much a passenger at that point. So Ian onto the to onto the podium. It's a good effort from Ian driving the car with damage. Sees HKA still the massive lead. Death Raccoon, second place. How's the comments? Let's see. Laura Andrew, it looks like the bot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Let me go delete that comment. So, Death Raccoon still in second. Uh, 6.2 seconds the gap now. The question is, will Ian Evo be able to hunt? Death Raccoon down, Ian on the soft tyre, still got plenty of fuel, battling a lot with that front left though. So Denz still behind Ian Evo, Denz in 4th place, Denz is getting hunted down by Alex now, Alex also on the soft tyre, also carrying damage but carrying double axle damage. Oh, excuse me. So, Jens is doing 1 minute 20s, Alex is doing 95s on the soft with double damage, so just a bit quicker. Ian Eva, this is the race to watch, 4.7 seconds, hunting Death Raccoon down. Gap now 3.8 seconds. Getting very close. So there's three minutes left, the gap 3.6 seconds. I'm not sure if Ian's got enough to go. It's a lot to catch. Death Raccoon still carrying that damage, but looks pretty comfortable. The gap three minutes, uh, three seconds, but the, the time only three and two and a half minutes. So Ian, not sure. Not sure if Ian's going to be able to do it. Going to be close. Close. Den still in fourth place. He's got Alex 1.2 seconds behind him. So this is an interesting finish to this race. Death Raccoon. Oh, that's bombastic. I think just getting out of the way of everybody. So Death Raccoon. The gap now 1.4 seconds. So Death Raccoon definitely held up there. And uh, in the space of a few corners, Death Raccoon is going to come under pressure now. 
Ian Evo, does Ian have enough left in that tire? Ian Evo looking for a second spot on that podium. Very interesting development here. One and a half minutes remaining. Can Death Raccoon bring this car home? He's pushed very hard, he's fought very hard for this position. Went long, he's got plenty tire left, he's got plenty fuel left. The problem is, if Ian Evo gets into the slip, it's going to be very difficult to manage. So after this, and most likely we'll have another lap, it's about a minute left. Let's look at uh, Ian Evo and Dens. Dens has uh, got Alex point two behind him, so... Alex looking to make the move on Dens. Ian Evo still in third, keep your eyes on that. Oh, Dens going, hitting the wall. Alex moving up into fourth place. So, it's... Uh, the gap now between these two is about 0 0.6 27 seconds uh, remain before the race is over so death raccoon opened up the gap now in hit the wall i think and in third place it's also out of fuel so death raccoon played it very well he's just got enough with fuel and evo is out of fuel under steering into the abyss that's the race okay so death raccoon takes second place apologies uh in evo third place sees hk still on on the final lap um with no fuel and uh what a drive So this uh, has been quite quite an interesting drive. Some interesting points uh, raised by uh, some of the viewers. So we'll have to investigate that. But uh, sees HKS absolutely dominating that race. Second Death Raccoon, third Ian Evo, fourth Alex, fifth Den, sixth Davide, seventh J Turbo Deluxe, eighth Bombastic. 9th Bodom Reaper, 10th is Mad Theo, uh, 11th Ollie, and 12th McFlurry Twist. Well done. What a race. It was a tough one this evening. Um, Seas HKX absolutely dominated that. Brilliant, brilliant driving. I'm going to capture the points. I'll be right back.
so we are back. Um, I can't show you the screen, unfortunately, but um, let me read out the points. So these are preliminary. Sees HKS with 44, Alex second with 36 points, Dan's third with 33, fourth is Ian Evo with 33, and bringing up your top five is Davide Marine with 31 points. So, wow, that was an interesting race. Um, thank you, everybody, in the comments. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Good job, Ian, Ian and Dan's, and Jan, Yan, um, or Jan, as we call it in South Africa. Uh, another lap and I'd caught, uh, I would have caught Luca, that's uh, Ian Evo. But uh, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Have a great week. We'll catch you guys.